Former U.S. President Donald Trump said that he will be the border president in a speech heavily focused on migration at a Las Vegas rally late Friday. Trump also strongly criticized Vice President Kamala Harris, frequently referring to her as Comrade Kamala Harris. We dismantled her terrible record, we exposed her radical liberal agenda, we laid out our plans to quite simply make America great again, said Trump, referring to Tuesday's presidential debate in Philadelphia. Three months ago, we had a monumental victory. We had a beautiful victory three months ago. And then a couple of nights ago, we had an even better victory. We took her on, comrade Kamala Harris. We took her on and we did really well every... We dismantled her terrible record. We exposed her radical liberal agenda and we laid out our plans to quite simply make America great again. <laughs> Meanwhile, comrade Kamala Harris, comrade, showed up spewing lies and meaningless platitudes with no plans, no policies, and no solutions whatsoever. She doesn't have a clue. And the American people are damn angry, too. We're all angry. Country's being wrecked. That's why 53 days from now, we're going to tell Harris that we've had enough. Our country can't take it anymore. Comrade Kamala Harris, you're fired. You're fired. Get out. Get out. When I return to the White House, I will launch a special task force of elite federal law enforcement and charge them with crushing and eliminating every foreign gang and organized crime network that is conquering our country. This will not end well unless Donald J. Trump is elected the 47th president of the United States. But I can end well. Because I am your border president. From now on, I want to be your border president. That this border crisis is 20 times worse than it was in 2016. But I'll get it solved. I'll get it solved fast. And we'll get back to making our country strong again. And I only want to be addressed no longer as Mr. President, Mr. Border President, sir. Because we got to get this border fixed. We got people. Starting on day one, I will seal the border and stop the migrant invasion. We will carry out the largest deportation operation of criminals in American history. We will defeat inflation quickly, and we will make America affordable again. We're getting your prices way down. We will make America the dominant energy producer in the world by far. Former President Donald Trump is in Arizona to solidify his support in a crucial battleground state. Both campaigns have framed their candidates as the winner of Tuesday night's debate in Philadelphia. Trump likened Vice President Kamala Harris as a prizefighter that lost the fight and added, because we've done two debates and because they were successful, there will be no third debate. Separately, Trump is famous for giving nicknames to his political enemies, but nicknames for allies are rare. She's tough on the border. So if you don't mind I'm going to call her border Carrie Lake. Trump said to loud applause in Tucson. Lake, who's in a tough race against Democrat Ruben Gallego, stood and pumped her fist from the front of the auditorium. 
Trump said Thursday in Arizona that as president he'd seek to end taxes on overtime wages. It's his latest appeal to the working-class voters he's counting on to return him to the White House. Trump has also pledged to end taxes on tips and social security wages. As everyone saw two nights ago, we had a monumental victory over comrade Kamala Harris in the presidential debate. We won big with independent voters, moderates, Republicans, and working people all across this nation, putting forward a clear vision to very simply make America great again. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kamala Harris showed up spewing empty rhetoric, the same old lies, meaningless platitudes offering no plans, no policies, and no details whatsoever, nothing. The two anchors, David Muir and Lindsey Davis, sat there and only corrected me on things where I was right, but didn't correct Kamala on Project 25 that I knew nothing about. She talked about knowing it was all false. She talked about the Charlottesville hoax, and these people did nothing about it, which has been totally debunked, as they say, by Snopes and Snoops and everybody else. I like it. Look at all those people. Wow. But she immediately called for a second debate, which means that she was like a prize fighter that lost a fight. We had two debates, though. I had a debate with Crooked Joe Biden, right? And I had another debate with her. Anybody in the audience have a gun? Raise your hand. So because we've done two debates and because they were successful, there will be no third debate. But when they had exit polls 2016, and they said, oh, he's getting killed in the exit polls. and. I remember NBC and that stupid ABC that did this horrible debate. Those two people should be fired as an anchor. A couple of more years, they'll be fired. And she was nasty. She looked at me with hatred in her eyes. And him, he's a nice guy. I mean, they were told to do it by George Slobodopoulos, who's, who's in the group, right? George Slobodopoulos. But she's tough in the border, so if you don't mind, I'm going to call her Border Carrie Lake. From now on, it's Border Carrie Lake. I'm also announcing that as part of our additional tax cuts, we will end all taxes on overtime. You know what that means? Think of that. The people who work overtime are among the hardest working citizens in our country. And for too long, no one in Washington has been looking out for them. Those are the people they really work. They're police officers, nurses, factory workers, construction workers, truck drivers, and machine operators. It's time for the working man and woman to finally catch a break, and that's what we're doing, because this is a good one. And I think it's going to be great for the country.